So hi everyone, uh, welcome to my video. Uh, so today I'm going to be uh, showing you how uh, to optimize our, our website performance or speed without using any plugin. So especially if you're using Elementor, I think this uh, video is going to be very helpful because uh, I'm going to show you a few things that we can do uh, inside Elementor uh, to optimize our speed. So uh, here I uh, uh, looked at my page speed and I could see for the mobile devices it is quite uh, low uh, whereas for the desktop it seems uh, to be fair. Uh, for mobile devices I could see that a few of the CSS and uh, JavaScript have been loading uh, which are leading uh, to my page slow speed and I have you know looked at multiple ways to uh, reduce this or uh, reduce even unused JavaScript uh, but then still uh, there are few left so I thought of uh, you know uh, playing with Elementor and look at Elementor settings what can be done and then yeah I figured out some ways and today I'm gonna be sharing with you all so please stay tuned so let's proceed and let's head over to the dashboard and uh, not only me most of the people who are using Elementor for uh, building the website must be using uh, some additional plugins from Elementor uh, like uh, essential add-ons elements kit and then uh, whenever we use multiple plugins and uh, the functionality is somehow compromised uh, in, the, in the sense the page speed uh, is compromised so uh, to, to sort that out of uh, uh, I have figured out some ways so let's start so first you head over to the Elementor settings and inside Elementor settings the first one you need to do is disable the default fonts because default fonts are uh, the plugins fonts uh, that would load if you uncheck this box uh, and whenever you uncheck this box that means uh, the fonts from Elementor are loading at the same time the fonts from a theme uh, are also loading and what happens is uh, uh, the server or website uh, uh, requires some multi-processing time so that will lead to your website uh, speed so first one you need to do is simply disable the font and after that uh, you save changes uh, which I already did and if you're looking for some more then use uh, the external file CSS print method because uh, this is extremely useful because you want the CSS uh, to be printed on a website through some external file and you don't want it to be loaded directly whenever the website is loaded so yeah just uh, enable this option and save changes so whenever there's op an option if you could see the Google fonts load just use the swipe option because uh, that is gonna uh, split Google fonts and then uh, the fonts that you have uh, used on the website so uh, by default Google fonts are meant to be uh, loaded extremely fast compared to other fonts so yeah this would be a few of your options in Elementor settings uh, the fonts and Google fonts and CSS print method just do this and after this uh, you head over to uh, the essential add-ons just click on it and then inside uh, essential add-ons just go to the elements and here are lots of content elements that you could see it's currently uh, turned off uh, so uh, by default lots of uh, options are being turned on and what happens is uh, this all have a code or script or to display and uh, whenever website uh, loads all of these codes are loaded as well so if you keep them off then you know the codes or these elements doesn't get loaded that means the performance will automatically be fast so uh, whenever you need uh, some kind of uh, elements like creative buttons or team member testimonials just turn them on so uh, the ones that you don't require just turn them turn them off so for, for, for an instant I have this post grid turned on because I have used that on my website because uh, this is where it comes so just turn on the ones that you require and then 
and disable the ones that you don't so i see this is still torn on i don't require fancy text so i will turn it off as well so contact form saving is uh turned on because i need it so similarly just turn off all whatever you don't require so once you're done with essential add-ons just head over to elements kit so inside elements kit it's just uh, similar to the element uh, essential add-ons just hop over to widgets and you can see lots of widgets over here so currently i have turned off all of this so the ones you don't require just turn them turn them off so i would require headings that's why i have turned this on similarly after completing your widgets panel just go to modules and inside the modules just do the same thing turn off those that you don't require and turn on that you require so after this just save changes and then clear the, all the cache of the page use any cache clearing uh, plugins or settings that you have on your website so if you don't have any um, cache clearing uh, option or plug settings on a website just download this uh, WP fastest cache because it's the best uh, to my knowledge and this will auto enable the cache system so just do this and then it's gonna be absolutely fine and then after doing this just uh, reload the page or close and open once again and then head over to page inside so i haven't analyzed after making the changes so i'm gonna be uh, analyzing once again so let's wait a moment So you could see right away my previous score was 43 now it's up to 57 uh, seems like there's some sort of problem in desktop uh, speed because it must be of initial server response time so you don't you don't need to worry it's just because of the internet speed or the server speed so it's usually quite uh, slow here in Nepal so uh, yeah but if you are using a good server a good internet it's gonna be absolutely fine but here, here's the changes that you could see my previous score was 43 now it's 57 so yeah this is how it works uh, so this is all about optimizing your performance without using any plugin if you're especially using an element of your website uh, building uh, so thank you guys for staying and hope you subscribe to my channel I'll be coming more with some, some shots uh, contents so have a good day thank you